Hey, this is Luke Symes with Salt Strong. Today we're gonna have a fun video about blackening fish. So we have some, uh, some mangrove snapper here in this one, and then some sheep's head. And so we have two different fish species. We have some lobster in there too. That's gonna be a little side, a little side bonus. But, uh, but as far as the blackening fish, we're gonna have two different styles. So there's a couple ways to do this. You know, everybody has their different, their different ways. So one is with melted butter uh, to use that uh, to, to dip the fish in. And the other one is with olive oil. Olive oil is obviously a little bit more, more healthy. Butter, I have to imagine it's gonna taste better, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do them both and, and see which one truly is better. And so, so really how it works, and uh, the olive oil, we're just soaking this olive oil, and we're gonna then put the, uh, this blackening, this blackening season, stuff is really good. I'll put a link down below for, uh, for picking it up, but it's in most Publix's, but uh, really good stuff. But you basically just, just coat the fish. So we're just gonna dip the fish in the butter. And then we're just gonna put it on the plate to, to set it. And then before, right before we throw it on this, uh, we have this big skillet here, uh, just a cast iron pan does the same exact thing. So you really need to have the cast iron. So we're just gonna dip it in the butter, get, this, get all this ready. And so it, it happens really fast. So it's very important to, uh, to go ahead and just get everything ready to go. That way you can put it all on at the same time. And then uh, once one of them's ready, then all of them are ready. So that way, uh, again, you, you just kind of better plan the timing. So there's the sheep's head. Let's go ahead and get some of the snapper. The snapper fillets in. And so you, it's, it's surprisingly simple for how good this tastes. And, uh, and you're gonna see how fast it is as well. It's really just, you know, maybe two to three minutes a side, especially when they're this, this size fillets. These are pretty small. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the first batch going here real soon. All right, so now it's time to coat these fillets with some of the seasoning. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, get a nice little coat on there. We're just gonna start on this side. I like to have, that's why I like to have them all on a plate and pretty close by so I can just, just cover them up. And this stuff is, it does get kind of hot. So if you're not into to spicy, uh, then just put a little bit less on there. Or you can get some of this, they have seafood magic too, where it's just, a little bit less kick to it. So, so that's it. So there's a good amount of kick there. All right, so these are looking good. So now we're gonna put them down on the side that's, that's, that's seasoned. And then once they're on there, we're gonna season the, uh, the rest of it. So let's go ahead and just get everything close by. We'll put the olive oil ones on first and we'll put the olive oil on the left side so we can track which one's which. And uh, so definitely do not do this indoors. I made that mistake before and the fire alarm was going off. So definitely, definitely do this outdoors. So there's that. And so now we're gonna go ahead and do the butter side over here. And some people do use Pam, but when you soak it in all this, uh, all this nice stuff, you really don't have to have it. Just gonna lay it out here. All right, so now it's on. And so now we need to coat the other side with our seasoning. All right, so we're getting about to the time to, to flip them. And, and one, obviously you need a spatula. And so one other thing I highly recommend having is just a butter knife. And obviously it, it helps for flipping these fillets just to make sure that we get it and can flip them over. But at the end, that's the final test. Once the butter knife goes through without any resistance, that's when you know it's, it's ready. And so we're gonna go ahead and just flip all these over using the spatula and the butter knife just to uh, make sure it doesn't slide totally off. Those are looking good. Oop. So what I am noticing is that the ones with butter are definitely coming up a little bit easier. So as far as the utility, you know, these look better. So the, uh, the butter, the dipping in butter, definitely is seeming to be easier to do than the olive oil. I've always grown up doing the butter route. Uh, the last few years, I, I've really hardly used any butter at all. So I pretty much use olive oil for everything on butter. But uh, apparently I haven't blackened uh, with, with olive oil before, but so far I'm leaning towards the butter route. 
And uh, so we'll see on the ultimate taste test if it does matter or not, but so far, I'm thinking butter might have the edge. All right, so it's been about a minute and a half, and we're gonna go ahead and start checking them. And uh, we'll start with the thicker ones, and that's actually going through pretty well. And if it goes through the thick ones, then they're definitely ready. So yeah, these are all ready to rock. So we'll go ahead and, uh, and start off on the side that where we uh, obviously started. And I have this plate out here, ready to go. And now it's just simply pulling them off. And again, it's just, that's why I like this butter knife, where it's just nice to use it as the, as the backstop, where you can just easily pull them right off the plate. Ready to go, and we'll do half. So that first half, that's all the olive oil ones. And as far as prioritizing which ones come off first, Definitely recommend just getting the thinnest ones. Thinnest ones off first, thinnest ones on last, right? That way, by the time you pull them off, they're all gonna be cooked about the same. So there we are, ooh, that one's looking good. Yeah, so even still with the butter, as I'm taking these off, I can noticeably tell the difference on the butter as far as coming off smoothly. And that is a nice looking plate of blackened fish. All right, so we have the fish on, uh, and I've tasted. This is the this is the non-butter. This is the butter, and it, the it really can't tell much of a difference, to be honest. If we get a little bite there, well, that's good. It's solid. It's got a nice little kick to it. And then we'll go ahead and get the butter side as well. Again, they look about the same. You really can't tell much of a difference. Solid as well, I think. If anything, the butter has a slight advantage, but you know the olive oil was pretty good too. But if yeah, if, if you're not uh, those who are counting calories, uh, butter is kind of kind of hard to beat. I have to say. Butter, <laughs> 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 Listen to Shauna, she's got it. All right, well that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed that video. Leave a leave a comment down below if you have any other ways to blacken fish. I always love to hear uh, different types of recipes. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time and watching it. We'll see you again soon.